Everything's going to hell. Ah! Oh, I can't show that now. Okay, if I open that window, if I go to Google, if I just close it. Ah! Why did that scare me so much? Why am I audibly yelling? That's another thing I'm questioning. I never audibly yell. God, I was scared by my own voice. Who wouldn't? Haha, <laughs> a self-deprecation joke. But seriously, I never audibly like yell like that. Okay, now it just says Chrome there and you can't read anything else under it. Okay. Oh boy, that's a fun video. Okay. Well, I don't want to edit. I don't or I'm, I'm going to have to edit this part obviously. But yeah. Okay. Cool. I'll just edit that part of the video where it has my personal information and stuff. That's that's cool. Oh, whatever. So all right. I'm just, hold on for a sec while I just make a loud noise. I will mute it out obviously when editing. So, just hold on. Alright, did we do it? We made the noise, so now... Okay, cool. So, um... Let's see, where is it? It's in my community tab. Okay, put it back! Put it back where I was looking at. So thanks, guys, for not saying nothing. There's only a couple people. I have to post so many memes in my community thing just for people to notice me. It's crazy. People love this one, apparently. I love that picture. There's a screenshot even of like the meme I said I saw. I didn't even like it still has a little X on there. I didn't crop it or anything, but people still love it. People have been looking at my my stuff on here more recently. It's cool in the community tab because I talk on here more. Yes, I liked my own thing. Oh my god. Ugh. You know, you kinda just gotta have some make it look like there's more people looking at it than there's than there really is or some whatever. Shut up. People love some of these memes, they're stupid, they're so dumb. Yeah, I made this little thing in Blender. I was ex I was happy, I was so cool. You're not... <laughs> I was just like, I'm so cool. Anyways, I was gonna say, I was so excited that I made this, because I think, I think it's really cool I made like a little 3D Oswald. It's so cool, You can I can see what he looks like with his hat backwards. I don't know if you guys would ever be excited for that, but I was... Because I've always wanted to see what he would look like with a hat backwards, but I don't know what it would look like, because I can't visualize that it's so weird i'm such a complicated person when it comes to visualizing things because i was like oh i made that a separate layer i need to see what it would look like i'm like yay now i know what it would look like in my art style because I, I i sculpted them to where he would work out to where you can actually move them around and everything it's not like all flat or whatever weird like some sculptures do in blender and sets but i digress i've been messing around with blender a whole bunch recently and it's been fun and I started the idea since I have like the whole uh, Beth Moth chat, whatever. I thought, hey, um, where is it? Let me see for a sec. I think, yeah, the Beth Moth chat thing. I have this whole like why I think video games deserve more credit than they actually get, blah blah blah. That was for um, a college project I made. If we can just get to it real quick. Mute it. No! Ads on YouTube, please! Shut up! Why do I get an ad on YouTube? It's my video! That's something I've never understood. Why pe why YouTubers will get ads on the videos they posted. It, uh, what does that do? Nothing. So like, I like right here how I can talk basically right now and it looks like I'm talking. As you can tell, this little version of Oswald is not very similar to um, to like the way he looks on the icon and everything like yeah you get it's him and all but his eyes and mouth look differently in very very noticeable ways the hair is a little different too he looks how i how i draw him normally when i just do like a little doodle of him versus like the um the quote unquote official way he looks which is supposed to be like like this you know like that and all with the line looking eyes and the hair being right here and all anyways I decided I like how well this video came out because I made it for for college, for a project, and I liked how nice it looked because I didn't want to do one of those videos where it's like how people will be like, they get a still image of their character representing them, their avatar, whatever, and I did something similar, but I wanted the mouth to at least move, that way 
it would feel more interactive and like you're not just staring at like a picture while I talk, you know? That's doing an expression similar to what I'm feeling. Even though it's basically that, the mouth moves and it stops when I stop talking and it, like it'll go from like happy to like a sad looking type expression really. Um, it's very simple, it just has like a little white part for the inside of the mouth and it's a looping animation for the mouth but it doesn't loop perfectly. It's like it's different every so other one. It's like closed mouth, open mouth, open mouth, O mouth, closed mouth, weird O, kind of open, closed mouth, whatever, and an open mouth, closed mouth, and you can see kind of that's kind of just like where it loops, and like it works out, it works out pretty well. I can keep talking right now, and it kind of looks like I'm talking with it. It's weird, but I like it. I liked. I wanted to try doing something like that because I see like. Uh, there's this one YouTube channel I, I watched back in the day called Lonely Goomba where like they just talked and they had like little Goomba that was animated talking. I tried going for a similar type of animation style with this with how he kind of like moves around like this and everything. But you know a Goomba is almost like essentially mostly face so it's just a face moving really. But with me all I wanted to have moving was just the mouth and like have the body pose change every so often to where it looked a little bit animated I guess. So. I liked how well this came out. <clears throat> Considering I did this very, very rust, like it was beyond like rust. It was so freaking rust. I'm not gonna, I can't like stress it enough how much it was. But like, hold on a sec. This is like annoying me. I'm like, can I close it out? No, ah, shut up. KFC, I don't care. But anyways, I, uh, I digress. Why do I have this part still open? Yeah, I was. Um, I decided I wanted to make it again, um, because I still have all the assets and everything I have to like make this type of video. I could make another kind of video like this in the same kind of style, with the same like little characters and everything, because I have all the hand movements and the mouth movements and the eyes and face and everything, all the files to make new faces and everything for this, and just make them a little higher quality as in like. Uh, at one point, you can see the hand actually goes like behind the little phone looking thing right here. Which, it was a green screen at first, but I had to put a video over instead of just green screen because it didn't work out. I don't know why I didn't just make a transparent layer. That would have been much easier. But I like green, I liked green screens. I thought it would be cool and exciting, but it messed with the blue right here for some reason. So, it did not work out. Plus, like, styli stylization wise, Everything here looks like, it looks alright. It's okay. It's very smooth because of, uh, what's it? Illustrator? But, like, you know, the mouth and the eyes and all, everything's just like, eh, play. You can tell it's rust. Based on, like, me taking my time, this looks like this right here. It's not a whole lot different. Um, I think the arms may be the same, though. And maybe, like, the back of here. I think the only thing different might be, like, the body. The head was purely traced off of uh off of my icon and everything only because like you know i drew it it's okay for me to trace my own things but it's like these are all drawn with vector files so um they're gonna be like way higher quality and uh i can like resize them and re-edit them and everything as much as i want i'm not timed like i was before doing this one where i couldn't really perfect everything kind of had to throw everything together at the last minute that's why it's three minutes instead of five minutes. That's like, because it was supposed to be five minutes, but I, it ended up being three. But I was like, I told the professor, I was like, I worked really hard on this. I, I freaking spent like 18 hours, maybe 20 hours doing this animation. And I got this far on it, working like day and night basically, which I was, I wasn't just BSing. Like I straight up was working my, my butt off, right? Like I was working like a madman on this video, trying to like, get all the assets so I could work on this uh, to get it to run smoothly and everything. Making all the different poses and sets, making the mouth movement look good. So it like, considering how rust this was, the mouth movements and everything, I think it was really smart, like doing like a little looping animation like that and having like a happiness sad version of it. It gives a lot more expression considering all this is done because literally the entire body except for the mouth is, in, is one entire layer. This whole body here, I have different layers for. Because um, I have like the eyes on a separate layer, the head, I have the arm, the, the desk right here even. 
the body, even the little hoodie. I don't know if I'll ever move that, but if I want, I can always just merge the two layers eventually sometime. And the back arm. Like, that's a bunch of layers just for right here so far, and I don't even have the mouse yet. Uh, the mouth is going to be just the looping animation. Um, so, like I said, I really enjoyed the way this turned out. And I thought, hey, I bet if I really tried uh, having more detail and not be on a, a deadline when making a video like this again, it could turn out really well. Uh, there was a lot of positive reviews from it. I got seven likes, not including myself. <laughs> but yeah, uh, there was someone who's like, hey, I enjoy watching videos, blah, blah, blah freaking awesome like that made my day i was really worried the class wouldn't like my video because it was like it was a night class it was like probably seven or something seven or eight at night and everyone's kind of tired whatever and i was like man everyone's gonna love my video but it was like so sloppy and rust i was like uh please like it maybe and i was like so nervous because i noticed like there were parts where it messed up like the video got in front like uh during like this part and everything and I basically was like, the video feels like it was cut off, but that's as much as I could record in the time. Like, I was literally editing it while, um, like, right before I had to leave to go to class. And I was, I think I was even rendering it and uploading it, like, in class while I was waiting for my turn to be called. So I was like, this was like as close as possible as I could get to it, basically. It was, it was pretty scary, honestly, uh, making this video. But now that I don't have a deadline, I'm gonna like put as much effort into it. I was like, oh, so I just do like a little cartoon drawn desk and everything. And I was like, nah, you know what? I've been learning Blender and how it works and everything. Let's just make my own freaking office desk area. And I'm pretty proud of it. I think it's really cool looking. Like, look at this. I have like a whole desk I made. This texturing stuff here, I I didn't just slap the texture on there. Like, I had to. I had to like get the wood texture and then like move it like using the UV editing stuff and everything figuring out how that works so like I didn't slap it on there I had to like mess around with it a little bit not a whole lot but considering for how long I've been using blender I think this is pretty impressive for me I mean I don't know I, I, I'm proud of it I've never really done something like this in blender before usually it's working with like models and stuff like that but I digress I'm proud of it um, also I like the little cube I have here. It's just like, I don't know, I like the way it looks. So I put like a little marble texture on it. Nothing impressive. Um, most of this stuff here is all flat. So it's very simple, um, for like blender type stuff. And it doesn't really need to be detailed considering where the camera angles are, which I set. I have, um, I have the full shot one here. One that would be close to me here. If I can just get that, yeah. Full shot. Bam, right here, another one right here, and then last one right here. They're not too different. Um, but I also have like a little pink screen right here for the background. So then like, um, I can use Photoshop and then edit out the pink and then have this whole part as an overlay so I can put my, my little guy Oswald behind it, behind the desk. So then when it all comes out, um, it looks like this, see? This layer right here, that would be the desk this one uh it was all pink right here when rendering it so i just one click of the little magic eraser tool bam it's gone and then i have transparent little desk icon right here that way i can have the arm in front of the desk so it's not like just awkwardly behind it or something like uh so it's not just like this or whatever because i did not want that that feels very flat having them like that that is something i want to avoid especially considering this is blender and it's a 3d space I do not want this character to look flat on here. I want him to look like he pops out a bit more, you know? Not, like, crazy, but, you know. Um, let's see, let's go back. So, like, I put, like, some pretty... I put I put a lot of detail into this. Making, like, adding the lights and everything. Trying to make it so it didn't look like a gross little room. Even though I literally use, like, this wallpaper is, like, the whole back room's meme, like, wall. I looked it up on uh, uh, on Google, whatever. Back rooms. Did I just type in for a sec? Enter. If you guys remember the back room memes, it was like in summer, I think, in like 2019 or something. And like, I guess someone got like this texture 
or I don't know, they made it like a plain text or whatever. Everyone's like, oh, it's so scary. I don't know what that's supposed to be back there. What, you, what even is that? I don't know. It's it's scary. That's what it's supposed to be. But, I don't know. I, I always kind of like the idea, like the back rooms. Not like as in a creepy standpoint or whatever. I just find like it somewhat almost calming in a way. It's weird. It, it gives me a very weird like Stanley Parable vibe to it. Um, yeah. I like the way like the back the the back room's wall and everything looked. I think I looked up like texture or something. Yeah. And then like I think I use this texture specifically. Like someone made their own thing of it and I just like, you know, what? I'm going to use that. That'd be funny. Um you can't even really tell. It looks more green of anything, like a weird green yellow color. I mean, it kind of does look like that here, but you know, whatever. If someone notices that little thing, I don't think anyone has. But if anyone does, that's cool. Um, if And I mean, if anyone notices that little reference without seeing this video. So if you already see th saw this video, wah wah, you know, I don't know. Um, something else I was really proud of was like the little computers here. Because like, these turned out pretty good looking, honestly. Not too savvy. Um, considering it's very simple, you know. <laughs> like it clips through the inside right here. Uh, oh, that's, that's even harder to see. Yeah, that makes it even worse. But like, they're very simple. They're just rectangular like that. They're not even rounded or nothing, or polygonal in a way. It's like all rectangular, all very angular looking. Um, not that great. But, you know, enough to make you think, hey, I think that's a computer. I think it's supposed to be, that's what that's supposed to be. Very weird looking in the back, because it's like one big thing. It's not multiple pieces. Um, but I did like how I could make the screen a little picture like that because I, I found out how to use materials when texturing stuff and I did that over here with these little computers because uh, and like the little trash bin here because <laughs> like I found these wallpapers from like 2007 it was like a 2007 wallpapers uh, website whatever and I just had a blast looking at all these dated anime wallpapers I don't know I just really like them like in a semi-ironic way I mean these were the ones that I like the most out of them the rest of them, a bunch of them were like, oh, this is so ugly or edgy looking and very, very dated. But these are the, some of them that I like the most, honestly. Call me a weeb, whatever. I don't even watch anime. I like to look at anime more than actually watching it, I guess. If that even makes sense. Another thing I want to talk about is the, the little pattern I did for the carpet. I liked it a lot. <laughs> I just have like a... I, I did this in Photoshop where I got the icon a couple times and then if you turn on like offset... It makes it turns it into a seamless pattern so then I can have this pattern all over and like you can tell where it kind of loops you know just like these corners right here maybe I ruined it for you or maybe not but if unless you're paying direct attention to it you don't really notice it too too much I guess I don't know it's very uniform but still you know what I'm trying to get to um, unless you actually looked at it and noticed that what they were then uh, you probably wouldn't have even noticed at first glance I don't know and then, like, I made this little radio-looking thing that I kind of gave up on because, like, all the angles you see it, you don't really pay attention to it. I don't know. Not really much going on here. It's very simple. And, like, this desk, I like the desk. It was all right. Pretty simple, too. Just made it like that, whatever. Because I didn't want to mess up the texturing on here too, too much uh, for right here. But it's barely even noticeable, so it doesn't matter too much. <laughs> and, uh... I think some of like the most basic texturing was like just the wood right here for right here, for the side bottom part, the black lines for like this window. Literally just I did like black immersion whatever satyr and then the ceiling. Just I looked up uh, office ceiling or something. One thing I'm excited about is like this background here for like the window. I can just put whatever I want for there. I can just put some silly picture or whatever. So that's gonna be fun, but. It also adds a little bit more work to uh, some of these because I have like pre-made like uh, angles, I guess. Let's see, where is it? Because I have the camera shots folder here. I have like these preset like little overlay and background type things and such. And there's like the pink I was talking about where I cut it out. So if I change the picture of the background, I have to like redo this. It's not too, too much work, I guess. 
Um, as long as they don't change the camera angle, only the pics are in the background. Uh, I guess it's only like one render I'm technically changing, honestly, so I guess it's alright. Uh, it only adds a little bit extra work, but whatever. Because I want this to be very nice and detailed, and I want it to be very good production quality. Uh, so yeah. And like, I have this one angle I set, where it has all the body parts. I, th I don't think the body is going to be like different at any other angle. I don't think I'm going to remake them for different angles really. Because looking at all of these camera angles, I don't think I would really need to because like, look at this. I've got this angle here, I just make them smaller. This one here, I think that's the original one. Uh, it wouldn't really look too different if I had them like right here. If it was at this angle sitting right here like this, or right here, it wouldn't change too much. I just obviously wouldn't have like one scene right here and the very next one here because it might look awkward. Um, this one I'm not too sure about. I'm a little questionable on it. I might just keep like the same scene. I'm not sure. <laughs> I'm giving myself more work, honestly, when making this. But oh well. Part of the part of the help is like not realizing how much work is going into this when I add more and more. I just keep working on it because if you realize how much work is going to go into one thing, you're probably never going to want to start on it. So, yeah. Explaining this right now is not helpful for me. Because <laughs> I'm just like, I keep working, keep working. I'm like, oh, I'm going to add this, I'm going to add this, I'm going to add this. But looking into it retrospectively, I'm like, man, I could have predicted how I would have, all this work I would have done. But, you know, whatever. I have lots of free time now to work on my own projects, luckily. Um, just in general now. Plus, like, the whole coronavirus scare type crap is like... Everyone's on quarantine, and now I'm having to do college work from home. So, I didn't want to do online courses, but hey, I mean, whatever, you know, whatever. Uh, I, that gives me more time to work at home once I just finish all my work. I don't have to drive all the way there. Yeah, I don't get to see people, and that kind of stinks, but hey, I mean, at least I can work on this a bit more. I'm excited. I hope you guys are excited. And I've rambled on for long enough, about 20 minutes. Luckily, it was only 20 minutes. Usually, I ramble on for much longer. But that's basically the gist of it. Um, without showing off a whole bunch. I already saw like all the layers. Like I have so many different layers for everything here. That I'll be moving around and such. I can just go here. Let's see, that's a front arm. I can just move it around like that. Be like, oh, I'm going to have a jolly good all day. I'm going to jolly good all day. Yeah, it's going to be real great. Bah, bah. And then like I have like one arm that's bent like this. And like I have another one that's more bent looking. Uh, if I go to that here, where is it? See, like, I have, like, all the arms here. They're, like, bent at different degrees, so that way I can just switch them out whenever, um, I have them going like this and everything. It's gonna look pretty clean, pretty nice. Uh, got those arms. Uh, and yeah. The only other thing that would be really changing that much, as far as, like, I guess you could call them sprites, in a way. Would just be like the mouth and eyes, maybe. The eyes would just be like, you know, they're angry, or tired, or whatever, what have you. And then, you know, like the obvious mouth animation. It would consist exactly the same as like, the other one I showed. Um, right here. It would, it's literally gonna be the same animation. Not like, totally, but you know. Closed mouth. Uh, oh mouth. Uh, closed mouth, whatever. Then that one. It's going to be literally just like an HD version of it. It's an HD remaster, you know? Except maybe, like, I might have, like, the tongue and back of them inside the mouth, like, colored. Maybe. Most likely. <laughs> and then just, you know, have, uh, have a similar, like, maybe, like, I don't know, what is it, like, 10 frames of animation for, like, this whole looping animation? Let's, let's just say that there's 10 frames of this looping animation with the mouth closed. I mean sad looking like that uh, let's call that 10 anim 10 frames um i would have like 10 frames for like a sad mouth 10 for like a happy mouth looking type thing or i think it was in the beginning maybe yeah it's like 10 front for the happy mouth 10 for the sad mouth and then maybe like some other more expressive mouths and eyes are going to be really easy to do because i just got to draw them over again animating different expressions for mouths like like a wide type thing or like a 
large mouth type thing, like yelling type whatever. That would be a bit more difficult, but eyes are very simple. So, uh, I don't know if I already mentioned this, but do not expect this to be within the next week or so. Like, what time is it? It's, it's 2 a.m. right now, but like, yeah. Also, Animal Crossing is coming out, so that's going to delay some stuff a lot more. <laughs> um, so, I don't know, expect this maybe, I don't know, late April or maybe even early May or mid-May. I truly don't know. Mostly because, like, if I finish one video, I'm not going to post it immediately. I'm going to save up till I have, like, a couple videos, then, like, semi-regularly post them, maybe. And while I'm in the middle of doing that, then, like, maybe make more. I don't know how it'll work out. It's it's really going to depend on uh, topics and stuff, I guess, going on. Because the first one I'm making, a little sneak peek, it's talking about, like, coronavirus and stuff and how it's going crazy. If it's still relevant, hopefully by then... I don't know, we'll see. Um, like I said, or at least I hope I think I said, um, I previously stated, at least on Instagram though, that I'm just making the assets for everything so far. So then all I'll have to do is just put everything in place. You know, it's like uh, just making the gears for the clock, basically, if that's, uh, you know, if that makes sense as an analogy. Making the gears, then all I gotta do for a video is just make a move and then put them in the right places and such. Um, but making everything from scratch is technically the hard part. Putting them into a and to making them into a video is significantly easier. So it's just building uh, the pieces for what will make a video, basically. So it'll all consist of like similar stuff. Obviously, I mean that's how animation kind of works in general. But still, I digress. I've rambled on for probably has it been 30 minutes now? Almost 30 minutes now. So yeah, that's about it. Uh, once I finish all the assets for everything, making videos will be really fun because I just got to put everything together, talk, and then edit it all. It's going to be really fun. So stay tuned for that, guys. That Now you're not totally in the dark about what's going on and such. I'm really excited for this, and I hope you guys are too. It's going to be 2 a.m. for me now, and all I've been doing is rambling about this for the past hour or so because I got excited when I put all these together here. Could have been spending an hour doing something else, adding more, but well, whatever. We'll see how much I, much detail I actually put into this. It's like, it's, it's a really big, like, it depends type thing, you know? So, do not expect this very soon. Like I said, these, these dates or whatever, uh, late, early May, late April or something, don't go thinking, yes, that's when they're gonna be, because I cannot plan that far ahead. I'm just saying, for all I know, I would hope for them to be posted around that time, or maybe made, I don't know. But we'll see, because I've never actually done this type of thing before, right? Um, where I've really stuck to it, I guess, because I really am going to stick to it this time. Um, so yeah, ow, I hit my hand too hard, I was just tapping it. But I don't think there's any more I can really talk about right now. Um, uh, I guess like the one last thing would be, is... Uh, Pretty much, this is turning into Bethmoth chat. Bethmoth chat is turning into Super Bethmoth, so, basically. Because I wanted these to be semi-animated, kind of like this, but I didn't really have the time, but I'm just going to build everything so then they turn into that. That's also why I haven't posted in three months, even though I said I would do this, like, every week or something, even though it was just me talking onto a picture. Lots of schoolwork caught up with me at that point, and people actually seem to like it a lot, I guess. I got 63 views and 36 views. If you don't know me, that's a lot for me. Even though I have 4,000 subscribers, where are you guys? <laughs> but that's a lot for me, so. Uh, I guess that's about it for... Yeah, that's that's about it, yeah. I don't have any more to update on. I made a, another update video the other day. Or not the other day, it was a, a month... Wait, what? That was a month ago? Dang. Time has flown by, it's been a month, jeez. See, that's also another thing. I, I freaking lose track of time so fast. Uh, I guess it's been a month now since that little not-so-brief update. Since I had been dead for a while on the channel. But anyways, yeah. Thanks for watching this not-so-little update. Kind of like that, too. But, you know, that's what's going on here. Obviously, I'll be posting other little short videos like I do in between. Um, these will be the main videos. 
And I think I'm just straight up changing my channel from being like gameplay, like purely gameplay or mainly strictly gameplay to this type of thing at least, I hope. I bet it would do a lot more uh, for the channel. People would enjoy that more than my, uh, my gameplay videos because they're kind of dumb anyways. In all honesty, I never liked them. Uh, not that I didn't always like them. Whenever I started first, it was fun. But after a while, it started kind of becoming a chore almost. And that's when you know, like, if something becomes a chore to do something, it's not really fun to do. That's why I made, like, four episodes of, like, this. And then that's as far as it went. I recorded, like, all of these, all of these, and then all of these in, like, one sitting. So that's the only reason why there's so many of them. And I, like, barely edited with, like, an intro and an outro specifically to make them more special. So, if you check those out, I don't know, whatever. Didn't get too many views anyways. So, eh. Alright, I've rambled on for long enough. Go back to your life or whatever you're doing. And I will be here editing uh, this video, the Super Best Mod So, for a long time. I'm also hoping to get, like, small little animations into it where it looks, like, very... Pretty clean. I want it to look clean, though. I don't want it to be all, like, stiff moving animation. Obviously, if a, if a, if a hand, if an arm like this is moving, it's not going to be purely just all, like, eh, 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 eh. It's going to be, like... As you saw, there's multiple sprites for the arm bending and such, so... If there'll be a movement like that, it'll be pretty detailed. Uh, it won't be, like, very basic, I guess. Because... I think most... Mo a big reason of why I'm doing so much detail in these videos is because... I'm trying to make it easy for myself. Uh... And I want them to be as detailed as possible, yet as easy as possible for me to do. Like, almost purely out of spite, because I'll see other channels where it's like, Oh, I'm posting once a week or something, look at me, it, I'm an animation channel, and it's like, a little animatic type thing or something. Or, there's no color in it, it's literally just like, a black outline of the character, and it's just solid white. With maybe like a couple colors in there for like, their hair or something. Hashtag not calling out people. Yes, I am. <laughs> uh, I don't know. I just get annoyed by it when I just see like blank backgrounds and everything. It's like, dude, you could add a background or something, make it a bit more dynamic. Like, come on, guys. I know you can do better than this. We just like, it, it's not that hard. It really isn't that hard. I get people work and all that, but you know, I'm getting to the point. I'm getting to the age to where it's like, oh, I'm gonna have to start working and then make these videos. But if I make it easy for myself to make them by making all the assets and everything, then bam, I just gotta place them all together. Then it's gonna be really cool. So this is like semi, like, it's like half out of spite um, to make a cool video where I talk in it for however long and then animate and such. But you know what? We'll see. Um, maybe I'll be eating my words and be like, this is taking so much of my life. Why did I ever think this was a good idea? Ah, but you know. I'm kind of wasting more time talking about it now um, than actually making it. So, okay, yeah, this is it. This is the end of the video. I've talked for officially over 30 minutes. Thank you for watching if you actually did watch and if you're disinterested. Let's see how this turns out, all right? Okay. Uh, like, comment, subscribe, all the other crap and stuff that I say at the end of every video. Um, bye. See you in the next video. Hopefully this turns out great. Okay. Bye for real.